Hey guys, um, this is just a test run, so I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to give it a crack. Um, so I've, oh, I might just close that glare. I've been putting PowerPoint presentations together for writing and doing a voiceover over the top of them so that it's almost like we're in the classroom. So I'm just going to show you and run you through how I'm doing it um, so that you can get a bit of a feel and perhaps give it a test run. So I'm going to share my screen and I'll go to this one here because this is what I'm working on. Okay, so I've got a template that I'm using and you can see down the side here, I've started to put it all together. Now, just so that you know, hyperlinks do not work when you're recording. So within your, within your discussion, you will need to say to your students that they need to pause this video and go and watch the hyperlink, the video that you've provided in your class dojo. Um, within the message and then they can come back to this point in time or depending on the lesson you might ask them to watch those resources first and then cut and watch this PowerPoint video. Uh, something that I have learned to do is instead of just putting my URL from anywhere on the web in my planner I'm actually putting in the embedded link now so that it's easy to find. So here we go. What we do is we click on slideshow at the top of your screen. You can see you've got all your menus across the top and you press slideshow. And you're going to press the record slideshow button. And then I just press start recording. So what happens here is everything I'm now saying is now being recorded to the PowerPoint presentation. So I can say, welcome to the lesson. Today's writing lesson, our learning intention is, I am learning to identify and explore the structure of information reports. Now, the only thing with this is that you need to remember is, unlike with normal PowerPoint slides, you can have the little notes and things. I can't see those and I still can't work out how to do that. So notes don't work. So you kind of need to go through it in your head or have your planner next to you with some notes if you think you need that. So then I click and I go to the next slide. We're going to reflect on the previous lesson, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Next slide, da, 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 blah, 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 blah. And you're going to go through all of your slides. And I'm just going to click through. This is one I'm working on, so it's not quite finished yet. At the end of the template that I've put together, you can see I've got, now it's your turn, and this is where they do their work and then I click end and it comes back to here. Now this is where it hasn't been lost, it's just sitting there in the background and what you have to do is you have to export, export the video file. So go to file, press on export and then you want to change it to create a video. Click on create video and I'm going to call this lesson for um, um, I'll just write draft for the minute and press save. And I don't know if you can see, but down the bottom here it starts working. And my, my computer is working really, really hard now. And it says creating video week two, lesson four, draft MP4. And the little grey bar is starting to grow. So you just simply have to wait for that to grow and complete and it will disappear. Um, I'll stop sharing for the minute. So when that is done, you will be able to open it up because you already put the location of where you're putting that file. So if you just simply go to that location, it's an MP4 file, you'll be able to open it up and it'll open straight on your screen. So 
let me share again. And if I, uh, just trying to think the best screen to do this in. If I go here. Okay, I'm going to change to this. You can see that I've got these here and they turn into a little witch's hat. So we've got two things, two files that are titled exactly the same. One is the PowerPoint with the P, the little witch's hat. That's the MP4 video file. So if I open that, because the draft one that I just did was, is still working, this is what you get. So I just pause that and what it does, it produces the file and you can simply load that through to Class Dojo. Okay, so there's no need to have to load it to um, YouTube or anything else. It's just thinking about your embedded file and you'll need to load that. Obviously, you need to get yourself organized. So um, make sure that your PowerPoint is schmick you know you need to run through it make sure you've got everything there um, and available first that's the key to it if you don't get the powerpoint slide which i was doing the first time around and i was trying to get hyperlinks to work and this that and the other and it doesn't work so keep it simple any hyperlinks need to be embedded but the embedded file need to go in the message into class dojo Hopefully this helps. Hopefully I can get this to load to you. Um, and any questions, just ask.